Your build plate does more than just hold your print. It can make or break your first layer and completely change how your finished print looks. Today, we're breaking down four essential types of 3D printer build plates and how to choose the right one for your workflow. Let's start with the classic, PEI plates. PEI is a polymer typically attached to a flexible spring steel sheet and held onto the heated bed magnetically. The development of these was a game changer for the 3D printing community. No more messy glue sticks or hairspray for standard PLA prints. PEI has this almost magical property. It grips your prints like crazy when it's hot and then releases them cleanly as it cools down. Most printers today ship with a gold textured PEI plate, which leaves a matte textured finish on the bottom of your print. But if you want that perfectly smooth, glossy bottom layer, smooth PEI is the way to go. Bamboo Lab even sells a dual-sided PEI plate with textured on one side and smooth on the other. Double the value. PEI works great with PLA, PETG, and TPU and can also be used successfully with other filaments when paired with adhesion promoters like Vision Miner, Hyperlock, Glue Stick, and surprisingly, Aquanet Hairspray. It's a super reliable, all-purpose build surface. PEI is forgiving, but it's not indestructible. Here's how to keep it happy. For deep cleaning, use dish soap and a sponge or soft brush to scrub away glue or residue and avoid metal scrapers, especially on smooth PEI. Take care of it and PEI will serve you for hundreds of prints. Next up, cool plates. These are perfect for long prints or power outage recovery because they keep gripping your model even after the bed cools. The magic is in the adhesive coating, which sticks reliably at low temperatures sometimes as low as 35 degrees Celsius. Some options like the gecko plate claim adhesion all the way down to zero degrees Celsius. And yes, they really stick. That's amazing for reliability, but it can be a little too good for certain prints. Models with large tree supports, big flat parts like lithophanes or art panels, those can be tough to remove. Keep a scraper nearby or try lowering your bed temperature slightly on your next print. Cool plates really shine for easy PLA and PETG printing. You don't have to worry about adhesion settings. It just works. There's something for every budget too. From premium options like Bamboo Lab's SuperTac Cool Plate or BQ's Frostbite and Glacier to more budget-friendly picks from ComGro, Kadivi, and UPI. Cool plates are simple, but the coating means a little respect. Some brands recommend only soap and water, while others allow isopropyl alcohol, so always check the manufacturer's guidelines. Avoid metal tools and wipe regularly to remove oils and dust. Simple, effective, and affordable, cool plates are a solid upgrade. Now let's talk about decorative plates. Build surfaces that do more than just stick your prints. These plates transfer patterns, textures, or gloss effects directly onto the bottom layer. Think carbon fiber textures, your logo embossed into the base, or a polished, showroom-ready glossy finish. These are high temperature plates, typically run around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius, but always follow the manufacturer's recommendations. They're perfect for prototypes, gifts, or branded prints where presentation matters. With decorative plates, the surface is the feature, so care matters. Always let prints fully cool before removal. Use plastic tools or your hands, never metal scrapers. Wipe gently with IPA and a microfiber cloth to avoid micro scratches. Store them flat and avoid stacking or scratching the pattern surface. If your bottom layer matters, this plate is the flex. Finally, let's get serious with specialty plates. These are designed for high temperature, engineering grade materials like nylon, ABS, ASA, and PCTG. First up, engineering plates, 
like the one from Bamboo Lab. These use a thermal setting coating applied to spring steel. It's stronger than PEI or PC and built specifically for technical filaments. But there's a catch. You must use an adhesion promoter. Skip it and your prints may not stick, period. When set up correctly, this plate is your best bet for advanced prints. Then there's G10 Garolite, also known as FR4. It's a fiberglass and epoxy resin composite originally developed for circuit boards. What makes G10 special is its release behavior. It grips when hot, no glue required, and releases automatically as it cools. G10 is especially popular for nylon, but it also works well with PLA, PETG, TPU, ABS, ASA, and more. Before we finish up, let's talk upkeep. Clean regularly with warm water, dish soap, and a sponge. Avoid fingerprints. Skin oils hurt adhesion. Dry with a paper towel or lint-free cloth. Use only plastic scrapers. Metal will scratch it. And make sure your bed temperature matches your filament's needs, usually somewhere between 80 and 100 degrees Celsius. So here's the final breakdown. PEI is your go-to for everyday reliability. Cool plates are perfect for stress-free PLA prints. Decorative plates give your first layers serious visual appeal. And specialty plates are built for tough jobs and technical materials. No matter your experience level, there's a build plate that fits your workflow. What kind of build plate do you use the most? Have you tried decorative textures or engineering plates? Drop your experience and care tips in the comments. And if this helped, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.